Hey guys, in this video we'll be discussing joint assessment of income tax. If you're not sure how to calculate income tax in the first place, I have another video on that in detailed explanation. I'll leave the link in the description. I'll also leave a card at the end so that you can click on it and look at it right away. So let's get to joint assessment. Mr. Kent and his wife, Miss Rekha, had an annual income of this amount and this amount respectively in 2019. The following are the expenses claimed by them in 2019. Expenses claimed here refers to tax relief. This is their tax relief. Mr. Kent has individual life insurance and EPF and lifestyle claims. So does Ms. Reka. Calculate the tax payable if Mr. Kent and Ms. Reka filed separately. We are going to compare between filing the income tax separately as well as filing as a joint assessment. Let's calculate Mr. Kent's income tax first. As usual, you need to first find the chargeable income. Chargeable income will be equals to Total annual income, which would be 55,800 for Mr. Kent, 55,800 minus tax relief. So we're going to total up all the tax relief here. Tax relief for Mr. Kent, 9,000 plus 5,400 plus 1,800. He has not exceeded the limit for anything, so he can fully claim all that he has spent. Finally, we have to take away any tax exemption. The question doesn't tell us that Mr. Ken has made any contribution to any government approved bodies, so there is no tax exemption here. We only have tax relief. His chargeable income will be equals to 39,600 ringgit. This is the chargeable income. With the chargeable income, we can now refer to the table where they have the tax rates and we can find the tax rate that is applied to Mr. Ken. Mr. Ken's chargeable income falls into this range, 35,001 to 50,000. On the first 35,000, he will be charged 600 ringgit and for the next 15,000, he will be charged a rate of 8%. Again, if you're not sure about this, I've already gone through this in detail in another video. The link is in the description. Mr. Kent's income tax will therefore be 600 for the first 35,000. Plus, we get the balance first. The total amount, chargeable income, 39,600 minus 35,000. He has already been charged 600 for the first 35,000. This excess amount will be charged 8%, so 0 0.08. This gives us a total of 968 ringgit. So this is the income tax owed by Mr. Kent. Now let's calculate Ms. Reka's income tax. We do the same thing for Ms. Reka. We have to calculate chargeable income first. In her case, her total annual income is 62,580. That would mean 62,580. Now we subtract all the tax relief. Let's check what relief she has. So she has 9,000 for individual, 5,320 for life insurance and EPF, and lifestyle of 2,500. Again, be sure to check the limits. The limits have not been exceeded here, so she can claim the full amount. Ms. Reka's chargeable income will be 45,750 ringgit. Based on her chargeable income, now we can look for the tax rate. Ms. Reka's chargeable income also falls in the same category as Mr. Kent. The rate is the same. She will be charged 600 ringgit for the first 35,000 and from the balance, she will be charged 8%. Ms. Reka's income tax will be again 600 for the first 35,000 plus 8% on the balance. Now we have to calculate the balance. The balance would be the total amount 45,750 take away 35,000 for which she's already been charged 600 ringgit and this would be charged at 8% there's an 8% tax on the remainder her total income tax owed will be 1,460 ringgit and 80 cents by filing their income tax separately the total amount that they owe would simply be 968 plus 1,460 and 80 cents and this would be 2,428 ringgit and 80 cents. This would be the total amount that they owed if they filed separately. Now let's see if joint assessment is going to be better. The formula for calculation of income tax for joint assessment is actually the same as when you file separately as individuals. But the difference, the key difference here is the tax reliefs have the same limit. The tax relief limits are not double. 
Let's use this example to explore what this means. Once again, the first step is to calculate chargeable income. Let's count the chargeable income. We need to add their total annual incomes and we need to subtract the tax relief. So this is the key difference here. Tax relief, again, they both have 9,000 individual relief. But when you claim tax under joint assessment, you are only able to claim up to 9,000. You cannot double the limit. They cannot claim 18,000. So they can only claim 9,000. And then for the life insurance and EPF, it is limited to 7,000. When you total up their life insurance and EPF, it amounts to 10,720. However, they cannot claim 10,720 because the limit is 7,000. The limit is maintained. It is not doubled. And for lifestyle, again, when you total up, it is more than the limit, 2,500. But they cannot claim more than the limit. So they can only claim 2,500. Therefore, the total that they can claim will be only 9,000 for individual and only 7,000 for the life insurance and EPF and only 2,500 for lifestyle. This is the total amount that they can claim. It's worth noting here that you have to check whether they are eligible for any rebates. So earlier on, their income is definitely more than 35,000. They don't get that rebate and they don't pay any zakat. So there is no rebate for them. So this is the whole chargeable income and that amounts to 99,880 ringgit. Now we have to check how much they are going to be charged. Based on their chargeable income, this is the bracket that they fall into, 70,001 to 100,000. For this, the income tax will be 4,600 for the first 70,000 and then we have to calculate the balance, so plus the total amount 99,800 minus 70,000 on the balance the rate is 21 percent so this will be times 0 0.21 the total amount owed will be 10,874 ringgit and 80 cents here we can clearly see that if they submitted their tax under joint assessment they're going to pay much more then if they submit their tax separately. That's it for this video guys. I hope you've learned something. If you have, please do me a favor and hit that like button. It really does help. And do share this video with your friends as well. You never know who will benefit. If you enjoy watching videos like this, do subscribe because I'll be producing at least one video a week. I'll see you guys in the next video.